It's been a while since I have done a vlog and I have some catching up to do. have been bringing my camera with me and like recording different stuff that we're doing, but I haven't been good about piecing it all together. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. But my channel has still been growing. Thank you so much for all my new subscribers who have joined us here. If you are tuning in for the first time, please join us, subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, like thank you so much for being patient with me. I promise I'm gonna try to do better. All right, so let's fill you in on some updates of what's been going on. My daughter has been doing cheerleading in one of my recent vlogs. I talked about her making the squad. She's so excited. I'm gonna give you some updates about that in a little bit, uh, about what she's been doing with tumbling and practices. It's so exciting. And I think this vlog is probably gonna incorporate that a lot. Like, it seems like a lot of you guys are maybe interested in what's going on with her and this new like adventure of cheer mom that I'm going through. Like I did not expect this to happen, but we're enjoying it so far. So far, so good. We recently competed, would you call it competed? I don't know. We raced in the kids obstacle course challenge and it was so much fun. It was sponsored by Cliff Bar. They're one of my sponsors on my blog. And uh, my daughter and I, I told her like, hey, look at this, look at this video of like these kids running through and getting dirty and I can run with you and we can do this race. She was like, uh, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna get muddy. But she had a few weeks to like get used to the idea and then a bunch of the girls on her cheerleading squad were like, hey, let's do this. It'll be fun for team building. So we joined them out there for the race. So um, I'm kind of just gonna walk you through that experience. We are just arriving at the kids obstacle course race and um, I'm here with my daughter and my sister. We're running late so I've been kind of like stressing out all morning but we're walking in hopefully we're gonna make our way and um, we're gonna get some exercise and hopefully have some family fun. We're gonna be running it and you bought the tickets online for us. All right, y'all are good So we had the countdown, and right away she was a little bit nervous. But it was fun. Everyone just started run through, running through that start line, and my daughter wanted to run. She was like, I don't want to walk. We got to go. Don't walk, Mom. I don't want to be last. She was so worried about being last. But there is no last in this race. It's all just about having fun. It's not about winning. We had really fun different obstacles. The first one that we came up was like this. There were all these swinging balls kind of in the way and you had, we're supposed to like bounce through them. I don't know, she wasn't like totally into that. But I, we were kind of like punching as we were going through, like punching bags. The more that I kind of like talked to her like I was her coach or something, like you could do it, you could do it, you know, come on, I don't want to see you slacking. Then she really got into it and she was actually kind of like jumping and trying to do the obstacles and stuff more. So she jumped high, she hit the bell. Then we were like, running through tires and climbing over walls and walking across balance beams. I was helping her on that. So on the balance beam, she did actually slip. Oh, you're okay. But I was really proud of her because she got right back up. She finished the obstacle. She didn't cry. She said it hurt and it was really slippery, but she didn't give up. So I was super proud of her for that. Good job, girl. When we got to the army crawl, she was like, eh, I'll go through the obstacle, but she was not about like crawling on her stomach. She just kind of kneeled over, but the other kids around her were doing that too, so no big deal. Then we got to this obstacle where we were uh, supposed to pick up weights and like carry them around. So she picked up the heavy weights and she was carrying them. No big deal for her, she works out with her dad. Then we were like climbing up and down these nets. Okay, well I didn't do it. I was, 
at first I was thinking I would do it with her, but then I was kind of like, oh, I just want to make sure she doesn't fall. Uh, but I watched her climb over the nets and I was cheering for her. And then one of the last obstacles, it was so funny, we were going across this rope swing and I was like, make sure you like grab high and then you swing and you go far. And I had my camera with me and I thought like, oh, I could do this with my camera. But the guy that was holding the rope was like, no, let me hold that for you while you do this. And I thought I would be able to hang on and like go right across, but no, I went like right into the water. Like there was no going across the whole way for me, but my daughter, Jada, she, I don't know if it was because she didn't want to get muddy or if it was because she's just that awesome. Probably a bit of both. But she grabbed the rope and she swang, like she pretty much cleared that entire thing. So I'm super proud of her, she's proud of herself. She finally like kind of started to smile a little when she got up and um, it was really That's fun. the water, you were like the best one. And then we were running to the end, we were going across the finish line. She had like a little smirk on her face. She was finally, finally kind of starting to get into it. I don't think she was expecting to get a medal, so she was really proud of that and proud of herself for finishing the race even though she is not a fan of getting dirty. But it was so much fun and such a fun bonding experience for the both of us to do something like that together. We've never done anything like that, like a race, a family race, plus like getting dirty. It was definitely out of both of our comfort zones, but a lot of fun. You didn't even splash or fall. What was the hardest obstacle? The hardest obstacle was the bounce beam. That's when I hurt my knee. What was the easiest? The easiest, I think, was the wall. So another thing that happened like a couple weekends ago, um, we had our squad had like a cheerleading uh, uniform swap sale, I guess. So people who had grown out of the uniforms could sell them and then the new cheerleaders could try to buy them or if they needed new sizes. So we went, but we didn't realize how like much of an event this was gonna be. Like we got there and there was like nothing left. Everything was already sold. And the sizes that were left were too big for my daughter. But we did get to try on one that fit her just to kind of see the size that we needed in case someone else had one. And she was so cute in her competition uniform. Very cute. Hey, you want to do a cartwheeler back walk over or something? Cute. So that's what her uniform is going to look like this year. We have an official sizing um, with, I don't know, some uniform guy that's coming in I think a week or two. So she's gonna get her measurements and get a special order for her uniform and then she's gonna be like official. She's gonna be legit. It's kind of funny because I feel like the uniforms is kind of what got us started in this whole thing because Jada was leaving tumbling class one day and um, she saw some cheerleaders coming in and their practice uniforms and she was like, I want those costumes. So that was like her thing and I'm like, oh, they're cheerleaders and then she started watching them and she was like, that's what I wanna do. She liked the tumbling, she liked the dance and then I was like, maybe next year. And then she just kept working at it and finally I gave in and she tried out and the rest is history so far. So I'm really excited for her. It's gonna be fun to watch her compete. The competitions aren't until this fall but they're gonna be doing a lot of practice before then. So when my daughter was little and my husband worked night shift, um, she, we would put her little brother to bed 
and she would come into my room, so she's like three, four, and every night we would watch a different Disney movie and I would do her hair. Like I would spray it with water, comb through it, moisturize it, twist it up, um, and then either put a bonnet on it or just have it twisted up for her to go to bed. So that was a tradition we had every night and she looked forward to that. When my husband got switched to day shift, uh, we stopped doing that and we restarted our tradition of watching it and coming through it while watching a Disney movie. So um, my daughter was like, oh, we should do a vlog about that. I think maybe we'll do like a whole vlog showing everything I use and stuff, but um, for now, I'll just kind of give you a little glimpse of what it's like. We are going to show you how she does my hair. I know we already did a video like that, but now we're going to do it because we made a goal that we would do my hair more often. She's not going to wash it, comb it all out in the sink. She is going to just brush it, make it all clean, and sometimes we watch Disney movies too. So that's what we're going to show you. I'll take you there. Okay, we're going into the living room. And here's my little seat I made up. Right here. And yeah, this. Do you want to say hi? Sure. Her hair was getting more dry and it was kind of getting harder to manage. So uh, this past week we've been really religious about doing her hair every night. Or not every night, every other night before bed, moisturizing it and twisting it up and putting a satin bonnet on. So um, we're just gonna kind of show you a little bit of the process. I'm not gonna do like a detailed um, like process today. I'm just gonna prop my camera up, show you what we're watching and show you how we do it in fast motion. First, I'm gonna show you what we're watching. We're watching Tinkerbell. I think like, what number is it? The fifth or the fourth? I'm pretty sure it's the fifth. Tinkerbell. Just, but she gets everything set up for it. She gets all the equipment we need, the hair stuff. She sets up her pillows, picks the movie. Sometimes we vote on the movie, but usually she picks it. And um, we we'll watch like a part of it before bed. We don't make it through the whole movie and she because she's still got to go to bed on time. Um, but it's a fun tradition that I'm glad we're doing again. All right, so I think you're almost cut off on everything. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. It could be 10 minutes, could be five. Um, but I figure it's a taste. I have some other stuff I want to tell you about. I need to catch you up on how she's doing on tumbling and private lessons and stunting. She started stunting, but um, I'm going to save that for the next vlog. So subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell. You'll be notified when we post the next video, which I promise 
will be up next week. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment. Let us know how you've been doing or what kind of things you'd like to see in our vlogs coming up. And give us a like button if you enjoyed this. And we'll see you in the next one. Two, three. Oh, what did you want to do? Did you want to dive on your belly? Come on, Ellie. <laughs> I'm dying in my eyes. Here, I'll wipe it out. Metaphysical. That was some metafucking physical shit back there, man.